back to another video. Uh, today we are testing out real numbers on the shark board because they claim for it to have a 30 miles per hour top speed and a 26 miles per hour um, range. They say up to with the asterisks. Um, my guess is gonna it's gonna need a couple more asterisks. But we're given the real numbers. You want a real world example of riding it fast versus riding it at one miles per hour. Be a solid like what like 45 minutes hour maybe of riding. I mean hey if it says 26 miles I'm gonna be here a long time but I'm gonna be ripping this thing probably top speed. Um, I'm gonna be tracking it so I can see how many miles I get, average speed, you see the top speed from this ride and uh, we'll, I'm just gonna pull this thing till it, uh, it's out of juice. Always buckle up. Take it first. I'll be back when, uh, when the board's done. We are back and done here. That is the remote beefing because it is out of juice. Let me turn that off because I've heard this beeping for the past you know, 10 minutes. My legs are tired. I, well, not tired, but just like sore from being locked in for like, what was it? An hour. Wow. So yeah, I rode that thing hard. Um, a mixture of terrain, just kind of a, probably a realistic ride, someone who likes to ride fast and aggressively, but like, you know, I'm not just going down a straight path the whole time, so I'm traversing, going up some hills, down, down some other streets, um, and in total, it lasted 15.2 miles, and I, I gave it a full life because it, it stopped at 15.2 and it would not go forward anymore like it was totally out something that does do well is that it still maintains braking power so even all the way to the end when it wasn't propelling me anymore it would still actually stop me obviously the braking power got worse but you know that's the most important thing is the braking so if the last thing you want to be doing is going down a hill you lose braking power that should never happen so that's good that they had that yeah and pretty much in the last half a mile it just really died down um it just the last half mile totally lost any sort of power I managed to get uphill but it started to really go slow accelerate slow something that was interesting though is that it it seemed to just limit its top speed pretty early on i think by the time i reached eight miles it was already not pushing the same top speed in the beginning i was getting around like top speed of 24 miles per hour 25 i was checking on my watch um, so it's pretty fast, good speed. It's obviously short of the 30 miles per hour. I don't know why they said 30 miles per hour, like with the asterisks up to it, unless you're going down a big hill. But like, I mean, if you go down a big hill with anything, a normal skateboard, you can go 30 miles per hour if it's a big enough hill. So like, I don't really know where they got the 30 miles per hour from. I would say a consistent though would be 25 miles per hour is the top speed for this thing. But yeah, by eight miles, it started to limit the top speed, which was really weird. Um, I think that's just, you know, that's halfway through that's already limiting top speed. I noticed the acceleration, it wasn't as zippy. Um, the braking was still there, but like it just accelerating like into turns and that stuff. You know, it was getting up to 22 miles per hour, 23 occasionally on slightly down slopes, but it just, it wasn't accelerating. It didn't feel as powerful eight miles through. And I think that's a little disappointing that I was already limiting it through. Um, Eight miles per hour is also the first time I heard it beep. I have no idea. It was like really random. Um, and then like, then throughout the next few miles, it started to beep here and there. And only once I hit like 14 miles per hour did it start beeping constantly. 
um, for a while. Um, another thing, as if I didn't have enough things, this remote is, it's crap, come on. Like, the, the, the digital screen, it doesn't give anything useful. It has a, a dominer, but the, I don't know what's, what's tracking. Like, it, the number is way off from where I was at the whole time. Like, it was showing, like, seven when I was at, like, 14. I, I don't know what those numbers mean anymore. The miles per hour is way off. Um, and then the battery, oh my god, it's, it shows you four different levels, which is annoying itself, but then the four even, four levels are awful. At five miles, it was already, uh, like, halfway through, or it was already at, like, two bars left, and then from, like, eight miles after, it was on one bar the whole time. But then throughout the time, it would, like, jump up a few levels, if I slowed down, and then it would go back down, and it's just, like, all over, it, was not providing me any information that was useful. Um, so you just gotta know the range of the board, otherwise, I mean, you might get screwed up. Just adds to my list of complaints about this thing's remote. So as a whole, I wasn't expecting it to get 26 miles per hour, because they always give a generous number on like a lower setting, lower speed setting. That makes sense, because when you ride slower, you're gonna get more miles, and it's because it's more efficient, outputting less power. But still, you would have expected it to be within like four, five miles, and to be 10 miles off, that's pretty bad. I mean, it's fine because I, I kind of had a feeling like 26 miles was too good to be true. So um, even though it's way off from that, 15 miles is a, you know, a really good range. But um, as a whole, it's, it still stands up pretty well. Yeah, that's all I got to say about this bad boy. Um, Another thing to note is that I will be coming out next month, April, for the boosted comparison with it. Now that the roads are clear, I will do that, but I figured I'd do this first just so I had an accurate number on what the range and top speed is so I can compare it. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that, and I will have that out soon because I know some of you guys want that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.